The first one is more, more or less on the partition produced uh, and uh, fail, fail for consumer. So you're able to use kind of a partition, a use key throughout the messages and use uh, fail over consumers to consume uh, individual partitions in order. And then next one, is, the second one is uh, close to using uh, key share. And the last one is how you want to use, uh, the third one is how you use uh, seek to go back in uh, to a certain partition in that stream. And the, the last one is how, if you want to like entirely control uh, how to, where you want to get start, uh, resume uh, reading the data, uh, have the ability to control, uh, start the, I would say the consume partitions uh, together with your state and then reader will be a good example for you to use. So, um, Hope, hope, hopefully like everyone is able to go through uh, the exercise. Uh, if no, uh, if you have encountered any issues, we, you, you can also reach out to, to us anytime after uh, the training. But uh, for now I'm going to just quickly walk you through uh, some of these uh, exercise. Uh, so let's see, uh, the first one uh, would be the, the basic uh, one. So let me see. Uh, so on the producer side, if you want to um, kind of have certain guarantee on the uh, ordering, what what you typically do is you need to specify a key. So when you specify a key. Um, the produce the, the default implementation of the producer, we use the hash code of that key to route uh, the master to a given uh, partition. So all the same, all the messages belong to the same key will be produced to the same uh, partition. And uh, to set this up is also very easy. Uh, in most of the time, uh, you don't, it's normal uh, as how you would create an, uh, any type of the producers. You can specify um, like the schema, topic, and uh, send timeout, and some of the other settings like uh, block if queue full, things like that, uh, to create a producer. So once you have the producer, the only difference for uh, producing into a partition uh, producer is uh, when you create a master, uh, you want to specify a key. And the question we're coming up is if you don't specify the, the key, then how like a postal would uh, be sending uh, those masters. It, uh, by default, if you don't have any key, it will use a round robin mechanism. So like any masters produced by this producer it will uh, run. Uh, you will pick up a partition in a run robin way, and then select stack the partition and send a message to that partition. So it's a it's a very kind of simple setup. And uh, let me just run this. Uh, so as, as you can see, in the solution directory, you, it's actually a complete implementation. So what you can do, just run Maven and you are able to compile that producer. Oh, sorry, I need to start my uh, local. I can start um, standard on. So once you have the environment running and what this, um, producer is doing is it will send uh, masters together with key and value. And uh, the, the, the second part of this exercise is to use a fail over a subscription. So as you can see here, uh, what you set up is a consumer. And the, the difference here is the, you will be specifying a type uh, that type is a subscription type is failover. And 
after that, you would just consume the uh, masters in uh, kind of a consumer loop. In, in this uh, exercise, we're using uh, receive async. And once it receive a uh, master, it will call the, uh, the function called handle master. It's simply just to print out the, the master together with the key and value. And once this is complete, it will acknowledge. So let's see how it works. So um, like before, uh, before I start a second consumer, it's able to receive all the keys uh, from zero to four. And after I uh, start a second consumer, you probably see in the original uh, old consumer, you only see like uh, zero, two, and three. And uh, in the second consumer, you, you are actually seeing like one and four. It's because when you are adding a new consumer, uh, the failover subscription would uh, kind of rebalance the partition across different uh, consumer, but it's still guarantee uh, for individual consumer with that subscription uh, would receive all the uh, key value pairs and uh, for, uh, so we, we will receive the masters with, uh, within that partition in order. So you, what, you, what you are seeing here is, um, uh, it's probably consumed the uh, certain partition, like the partition one and four, and the other one is uh, consumed the partition zero, two, and three. And if I going to uh, like start the third one, uh, just do a comparison here. What you're going to see. So as you can see here, it's taking over zero and three. And this one uh, is receiving two. So like every um, masters on the, uh, the second partition would, receive, would be received by this one. And this one would only receive one and four. And uh, at this time, if I kill one, any one of these consumer, like for example, this, I kill the second one, and this uh, key two uh, or partition two will be assigned to the other one. So in this way, uh, like uh, failover uh, will ensure all the partitions of that partition topic will be consumed by uh, the consumers within that subscription. And it guarantee uh, the subscription who is receiving that uh, the master of that partition will be receiving all the masters in order. So that is the, uh, that is the uh, fail over consumer. So uh, any questions or um, anything? Yeah. So this is a key share producer and it's still send, kind of sending the keys that uh, run robin across zero, uh, so one to uh, 14, zero to 14. And then, sorry, uh, yeah. Uh, in the consumer, you can create a key share consumer. So as you can see here, uh, yeah, so it start receiving messages from different partitions and um, have different keys. And then uh, let me see, let's see. So what it received here, you can see like uh, from zero to 14. And if I create um, the run another consumer, that consumer would join the subscription. And as you can see here, it will start receive some portion of the keys like five, six, eight, 10, and 13. And the other one will be receiving like uh, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, seven, nine, and the, the remaining keys. And if you have more, you will be kind of splitting uh, the key ranges and then uh, 
taking over some of the keys from the other consumer, key ranges from the other consumer. It's very similar as uh, uh, fail over, but the, the, the difference is you can increase the number of the consumers uh, to beyond the number of the partitions. Because in this example, I only have uh, two partition, like one, zero and one, but uh, because we are running uh, in the key share mode, so you, you are taking uh, in uh, different key ranges. And, but the limitation here is, as you can see here, we only have 14 keys. So uh, that means the maximum, in, in theory, the maximum number of the consumers uh, uh, within a key share subscription can only have uh, 14 uh, consumers. If you have, if you want to run 15, there will be, there's going to be one consumer being idle because there, there will be no key ranges is able to assign to that consumer. So that is a uh, key share subscription. And any questions? Can no, if no, uh, let me quickly work through the remaining two. Uh, the other one is seek. So uh, seek is very useful uh, when you run, um, when you want to uh, build an application to backfill uh, certain uh, like masters, like uh, seven days ago, uh, like uh, from a given uh, position. And the usage is also very straightforward uh, by just specify, oops. So what you need here is, uh, so uh, it's a normal setup, but uh, when you set up a consumer, if you want to uh, reset, oh, sorry, I was sorry, rewind the consumer back to a given position, uh, what you need to do here is the calling uh, seek. So uh, in any time, if you want, like say you have a logic, receive a string of the masters and when you receive a given masters you want to seek back then uh, you can call seek and then reset back into a given position uh, this example is uh, reset back uh, to a given position but you all you can also seek back by time let's say i want to seek back to uh, an hour or um, like a day you can also do that and in this example uh, what we did here is uh, kind of generate a sequence of numbers and also randomly uh, uh, generate a kind of seek master that uh, when the consumer received the seek master, it will rewind back. So let's just uh, quickly see how um, the, the behavior of this. Um, so what you see here, I'm producing a string kind of masters. And as you can see here, uh, it's also sending certain reset masters. So when uh, the consumer receive the uh, reset masters, it will rewind back. And let's see how it looks like here. So, this is the, so as you can see here, uh, when it receive uh, like the certain masters and it will resetting. And once it resetting, it will uh, start receiving uh, certain uh, masters and then, um, then when they receive a master again, it will re reset. So this is a very kind of uh, good e uh, exercise for you to understand how SIG works. Any questions on this one? Okay, if no, uh, the last one. Uh, 
would be reader. So uh, the reader one, um, it would be, let me see. So uh, this reader one, I, uh, so it's a, it's a very similar uh, kind of um, producer side. It, it just like produce a string of uh, messages. And the, uh, what you have here is a, just a sampling uh, reader. What it basically that, uh, that does is it using the reader is very similar as the sick one, but the sick one is using uh, kind of, uh, we uh, in the last example we use the consumer, but in this one is we are using a reader, and the reader itself you you basically control uh, where you want to get started, and uh, you are able to use the ability to seek. Uh, for like uh, for example, in this one is um, uh, if you you can seek forward, like uh, you can seek to the latest. Uh, if uh, you can seek back, like I want to get back in uh, 10 minutes and then you, so 10 seconds, uh, one second, you, you are able to use seek. And uh, because reader doesn't keep any subscription in the uh, broker side. So uh, it's very useful uh, if you're implementing a certain, uh, like integrating with a, um, like TPM system, you, you, if you want to down sampling, uh, the stream of the masters, you are able to use the reader uh, to jump on a given uh, like time, uh, uh, a certain position, and then uh, sampling the data, and then seek forward, and then uh, wait, and then wait for the data coming in, and then sampling uh, a second batch of the data. So th in this way, you are able to achieve the Kind of down sampling uh, application using a reader, but uh, obviously you can also build uh, other exercise in order to uh, kind of uh, have a better control uh, the starting point of the stream that you want to consume, and also use you uh, also use uh, seek to control where you want to jump over um, uh, to kind of uh, consume or to read. So uh, similarly, uh, I would just like show how uh, it's running. So this is still a producer that is uh, is generating a masters of sending uh, numbers, and uh, the consumer. Uh, it's a sampling reader. And the sampling reader, it will uh, do some uh, certain like some sampling and also rewind back. So as you can see here is a uh, get started from a given uh, like a position and uh, it seek back and to read uh, one masters and seek back and until it reached the, the, the first master and then it will seek uh, to the latest one and do the same similar thing. So um, it's a it's an exercise, but it, you can use this pattern uh, if you're encountering any um, applications that require require you to control where which position you want to start read and which position you want to go back. This would be a good example to kind of tie with your uh, real world application.